Here we are at the circuit to Barcelona, Catalonia for the start of today's qualifying session. It won't be long now until we're ready to join the action down at trackside. What is going on guys? Today is episode 5. We are in Spain. The thing about this track is, uh, it is a very balanced track. It is the most balanced track on the calendar and that is why I use it for testing. Uh, at the beginning of every season, so we're really gonna be able to figure out where our car sits on a balance sake, you know, like uh, Obviously with our Honda engine, we don't have a lot of uh, Like we aren't the quickest in a straight line. We don't have the greatest downforce or chassis either uh, So but we're pretty balanced. We're not like uh, Say like Red Bull where they're really slow in a straight line uh faster than us but they're really aerodynamic uh coming into this race i had a uh chassis upgrade and we'll be getting our aerodynamic upgrade and our major engine upgrade next week for monaco uh which will be interesting but uh the engine is about like it's not close to being worn like we'll be able to do this race but next week in monaco or next race in monaco uh will not be very easy uh or, like we won't be able to see uh, our major engine upgrade because uh, you know it's not really a it's a mostly aerodynamic track skinniest track so we're not really gonna be able to tell otherwise this qualifying lap I the car felt nicer on the circuit I guess that's the way you would put it uh, it was kind of a sloppy lap but we ended up finishing 13th or 11th in qualifying but we ended up finishing 13th so I made it into the second uh, qualifying session uh, but we got a little too antsy uh, before the lap even started, and we are out of qualifying. <coughs> so before we even started our time lap, crashing our out lap. Really good there for Lando Norris, obviously. So we will be starting in P15. It's race day here in Spain, and with everything still to play for in the championship battle, there's no room for mistakes in a Grand Prix that's well known for creating them. The 2.89 miles of the circuit barcelona Catalonia will push the cars to their limits through the seven lefts and nine rights that make up a total of 16 corners. Watch out for overtakes down the main straight and into the first turn. This is where the drivers will get best use. So as you can tell, it's a very even circuit. It has the long straight. It's the longest straight to turn one. So my strategy for this race, I'm starting in P15. It's kind of stay safe, don't get damaged. Uh, Pick your battles right and go in for an early pit stop so I can just run clean, clean laps. 17 laps, probably looking at around a pit stop of like lap 3 or 4, maybe even 5. As you see, I had to really like slow down there and pretty much into P18 here. I don't know how that wasn't an illegal overtake, but I'll take it. Uh, Stroll, Alcon right ahead of us. For some reason, these Force Indians did not qualify well here. I don't know why. I think they're more aerodynamic, uh, so they probably got a lot of speed taken away. I kind of just bump out of the way. Once again, don't know how that wasn't an illegal overtake. Uh, but we're through the P15 anyway. It's kind of single file through here. This track, it gets a lot of hate. The people say it should just be a testing track because there's not a whole lot of overtaking opportunities. But as you see, going through Perez there, the really the only way you can overtake on this track is to kind of not really jump the curbs, kind of take advantage of the track limits and really just a long straight into turn one as well. Uh, but yeah, so we're into P14 here. Into lap two, Perez is trying to get to us on the outside, but we're not gonna let him have that. Our teammate Gasly right in front of us, you gotta make sure we finish. This is a nice little spot here, because you can kinda take the inside, uh, or you can go to the outside, but it's a long sweeping turn. Uh, the thing about this track, a lot of long sweeping turns. So Gasly here, we are gonna go ahead and try to dive him up the inside, secure our position, and actually try to go around on Van Dorn, but that is not going to work for us. Uh, so yeah, still lap two here. Uh, gonna dive Van Dorn. Will it be safe? Almost hitting the back of Magnus in there. And we are into P12. But now we have to start thinking of a pit stop because, you know, we have the guys in front of us, but it's it's not really exactly the right thing here to do. And Magnus and Science are gonna crash into it. I have to slam into the brakes there. AI crashing into each other. I'll show you the replay right now. As you can see, 
Science actually had the lead into that corner, and Magnuson, being the guy he is, clips him, and uh, Science goes out of it. And then as well, Daniel Ricardo on literally at the same corner, blows his engine, so we go from P10 to P8, just like that. Realistically, it's P12 to P10. Uh, but as I just took my pit stop here on the end of lap 4. I want to try to get out of the huge pack. There was a huge pack in front of me, and I wanted to run in clean air. Uh, it was the McLaren of Alonso, as well as Magnuson, and another Renault. Uh, here we are, lap 6. This is when everybody's going to come out of their pit stop, as you can see. Alonso right there, as well as three others. They're going to get really close to each other. Five in total. Uh, somehow the Williams is in there. Uh, so Alonso and Grosjean did jump us in the pits, uh, but they are on cold tires, and we are not, and we had the advantage coming into turn one, so I have the side-by-side -side on Alonso, and I do keep it to rock, and actually going kind of slow there on the apex of that corner, he goes down to the outside, uh, and now we are in the P16, we do need to get our spot back on Grosjean, as you can see signs, uh, there from his crash, uh, so, you know, we don't have to really worry about him, he's supposed to take his pit stop. Uh, so, not a big deal there. We do get past Grosjean on the inside, and now it's kind of, you know, we're waiting on Magnuson to see where he's going to come out, see if we can jump him. Uh, thing is, though, we don't, as you can see, and in fact, Hulkenberg is going to pass us, but we're going to go around the outside, and it's actually going to work. Are we going to be able to stick it through? I gave him uh, enough space, basically, until the end of that corner. I did not, uh, but we're in anyway, so low on fuel. Uh, but interesting thing, safety car has a weird glitch. There's a safety car uh, after like the pits and stuff like that, and I'm in the P7 because uh, the guys in front kind of took their pit stops. Uh, but there's a weird safety car glitch because it acted like a virtual safety car instead of a regular safety car. And uh, as you can see, I know how to use my uh, one flashback. Uh, I am allowing myself one flashback per race, and that was it. Uh, so yeah, out of the uh, caution here, or the safety car, once again, I don't know what's going on with the glitch, but now we kind of have close to Magnuson, could we get P6? We're really close, we only have four laps to go. Uh, the thing about the real Formula 1 right now is that there's kind of the top six, which are the two Red Bulls, two Ferraris, two Mercedes, and then otherwise it's best of the rest. And uh, the thing is, like, we had... Uh, we have Baltas behind us here because he took his pit stop. I do not know what's going on. We were able to jump him because for some reason they decided to take another pit stop. And then Ricardo, uh, Ricardo actually a uh, uh, blew his engine obviously. So we're in P6 here. We did get P6 in Bahrain, so that is our highest so far. But as you heard, Magnussen is an engine problem here. So final corners of the race. Are we going to be able to get past Magnussen? It is close. He has some type of issue, probably with his engine. But it does not look like it's going to be good enough. P6 anyway. That's really, really good for the Toro Rosso. Uh, probably would have, it would have been P8 if uh, Bottas and Ricardo did not get messed up there. Uh, but yeah, P6. I mean, I'll, I'll take it. It helps us. Uh, it gets me some more points over Gasly. Uh, Hamilton with the race win there. Not surprising. Uh, the uh, Mercedes is really good at this track because it is the most balanced car and it's really, really good. So, yeah, Hamilton is going to go ahead and get that win there. Perez in ninth, not too bad there. Uh, I do not even remember passing him. Actually, I do. I do. They started in the backs, so yeah. It was actually good for him to come up there. And, uh, yeah, so the podium, two Ferraris. And there's Erva and Ben. Uh, I do not know why they are in this game yeah, but whatever and so yeah sixth place here eight points i mean it's good considering gasly didn't get any points really seem to enjoy that you made it look easy you're breaking all expectations what's your secret i don't really have a secret it's kind of the great car and team so that's why i'm gonna go ahead and pick that one sportsmanship increase there you gained a lot of positions during the race didn't you Honestly, I'm picking the car sticking to the track because it did. Like, it, it honestly did. Things were close between you and your rival, but it looks like you're coming up top, doesn't it? I'll just go for the good sportsmanship one on here. The rivalries bring out the best of both drivers. Did you have the wrong fuel strategy today, or was it your management? I didn't even like have a wrong fuel strategy, so all these answers are kind of bad. 
So, uh, yeah, probably that one. <laughs> Great. Well, that's everything. 